machine shop and going to perform different types of machining operations on the center lathe machine. Central lathe machine is a type of machine tool used for performing different types of machining operations such as turning, knurling, threading etc. Central lathe machine consists of different important parts. This part of the central lathe machine is known as headstock and this is the driving mechanism for the headstock which consists of different types of pulleys and gears and these driving mechanisms used to drive the spindle which is used for holding of chuck and chuck is used for holding the workpiece which is also known as the job for performing different types of machining operations. This portion of the central lathe machine is known as tail stock and it consists up of dead center, locking nut and hand wheel. This is the carriage portion of the central lathe machine. Carriage portion consists up of the compound breast and cross light. Upon the compound rest there is a tool post which is used for holding the tool for performing different types of machining operations. This is the workpiece of mild steel which is to be mounted on this three jaw universal chuck with the help of wrench. Now the first operation which we have to perform on lathe machine is facing. With the help of this operation we face the job. For doing this, fix the tool post at a particular inclined angle and giving the cross feed we face the job. Now after facing we perform plane turning operation on the job. In this operation, we fix the tool post perpendicular to the bed and by giving longitudinal feed, we perform this process. Now after turning process on a specimen we have to perform taper turning. In this process we rotate the carriage at the fixed angle according to the giving taper on the job. With the help of slide wheel we slide the carriage toward hand stock. Here the feed is given by cross slider wheel.
Now the taper turning process has been done. For external threading operation, first of all we put out the draw keys for slow down the speed of chuck. Now the last operation which we have to perform is knurling. The knurling tool is mounted by this way knurling process is going on. The final work piece is obtained from the lathe machine. This is the threaded portion, this is tapered portion, this is the groove portion and this is the work piece obtained after the knurling operation.